Hey, how's it going, folks? Well, today's edition of Wrestling Connect, we're going to talk about a few things, including a WWE Hall of Famer who will be on Monday Night Raw at Madison Square Garden. Also, another WWE superstar has gotten married to an AEW star and an Impact Wrestling star who's basically been put on ice and they're not using him. All that and much more on today's edition of Wrestling Connect. <laughs> Now, Stone Cold Steve Austin will be making an appearance at Monday Night Raw at Madison Square Garden on September 9th. WWE Raw returns to the world's most famous arena, and who better to have there than one of the biggest stars from the Attitude Era, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He will be making an appearance that night. The next night on SmackDown, also at Madison Square Garden, The Undertaker will be making a special appearance. This is the first time WWE has had Raw and SmackDown emanating from Madison Square Garden in several years, so this is one that's not to be missed. Well, Tony Schiavone has signed a full-time multi-year deal with All Elite Wrestling. All Elite Wrestling did announce today that Tony Schiavone has signed a multi-year deal with the company. They also noticed that he will be a part of the AEW broadcast team once it does start airing on AEW, and he will also serve as a senior producer for AEW events. Previously, Tony Schiavone did have an offer on the table from WWE. Clearly, he took AEW. As far as MLW goes, he is still under contract with that promotion, but he will be doing a full-time work with AEW as well. So him and Jim Ross together behind the booth as AEW does come to TNT on October 2nd. Well, another WWE superstar just tied the knot as yesterday outside of Los Angeles, Iconics member Peyton Royce did marry her longtime boyfriend, Sean Spears, also known as Ty Dillinger, in the WWE. The WWE actually posted an article regarding this on their website. They didn't state that his name was Sean Spears. They said Ty Dillinger, obviously for the WWE Universe to be familiar with who he is. And we do send our well wishes to the new couple as they did start dating three years ago and they tied the knot over the weekend in California. Total Divas does return October 2nd to the E! Network and there is two new cast members for Total Divas. The first one being Ronda Rousey and the second one being Sonia Deville. As far as the cast for Total Divas Season 9, we do also have Naomi, we do also have Natalia, Carmella, as well as Nia Jax and the Bella Twins. Season 9 of Total Divas does start Wednesday, October 2nd. Well, it looks like Killer Cross and Impact Wrestling remain at a standstill as Killer Cross is not being used for any Impact events as of right now since Slammiversary. And according to Mike Johnson over at PW Insider, it does look like he is still contractually bound to the company. They're just not booking him. They're basically keeping him on ice as he is still under contract. As we did report before, Killer Cross was looking for more money for his deal once he found out a lot of other folks what they were getting paid. And he also knows that there is some interest outside of Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling, however, isn't going to give him that pay raise and they're basically not booking him for shows for the time being. It will be interesting to see whether or not Impact does actually book him next month for the TV tapings in Las Vegas since he is from that area. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how this one does pan out. For the latest wrestling news, always check out HealByNature.com for the up-to-the-minute wrestling news. And as always, don't forget to DDT that like button and subscribe. Join the notification squad to be notified of new videos and have a great day.